So today I'm going to be transplanting a cutting I took off of one of my tomato plants and I rooted it in some water and I'm going to be transplanting it into my aeroponic bucket system. Just takes a couple things. I got my bucket system with the net pot in here. I have my rooted tomato plant cutting. I have some, some clay pellets and a piece of rock wool, which I'm going to wrap around and an elastic to hold it together. So here are the couple cuttings I took and you can see that this one here has rooted quite well. Now all I did was just cut it and place it in water so you can see how well those roots have formed. And that took about maybe a week. So they're well on their way to becoming nice big roots. There was no uh, minerals or anything in the water. It was just water. And I did replace the water every day or two just to make sure it was nicely oxygenated. Okay, so now that I have my cutting, what I'm going to do, I'll just leave it in there for the moment. So I'm going to take a piece of rock wool. Now this is a piece of rock wool that I've been soaking in water for, uh, for a little while. Uh, to make sure it's nicely saturated. It's got a hole in one end and no hole in the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a knife here and I'm going to cut it in half. See it's quite wet here. I'm just going to open it up. I'm also going to just trim out a little bit from inside. So because I want my roots to not be too condensed within here, I'm actually going to take it and I'm going to set it in here with some of the roots sticking out the bottom. So you can see there's lots of space there for the roots to, to grow out. The roots will grow through the rock wool. It'll just take a little bit of extra time. Since it's an aeroponic setup, uh, I want them to stick out as much as possible right away. So this is just going to provide a little bit of stability to the plant and allow the roots to really get out there and start growing. So now that I've got it cut, just to hold it together again, woo, I'm gonna put an elastic around it. And so it's not super tight, but it's just holding it back together um, as if it were never cut at all. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead, I've just used this, the piece I cut off of the aeroponic bucket as a cover just to stop the water from spraying out while the uh, the net pot wasn't being used. So that was handy. So now I'm just gonna take some of my bits here and put them in. And I'm gonna leave a little gap in the bottom. I'm gonna leave a little gap in the bottom so that my stem can sit down in there. Okay, so now all I have to do is take my plant and stick it in there. And then I'll just take the rest of these and place them in around. So currently, that's what it looks like. So there's lots of space in there for the roots to grow out beneath the rock wool, through the clay pellets, and out into the bucket. And you can see my misters there. Better close that before they turn on. So I've had these other ones in here for about five days. These are ones that are rooted from seed, propagated from seed. Here's a tomato, here's a cucumber, and here's another cucumber over here. So uh, they were just in rock wool and I did the same thing with these ones. So we'll just see after about five days There we go. You can see the uh, roots starting to come out So 
that's pretty nice to see. You can see the rock wall and the clay pellets and the roots coming. So the roots are gro nicely growing down. Yeah, here's my tomato. You can see the roots are stretching down, going for that nice nutrient solution. And I'll just get that out of there. And there we go. You can see, so it doesn't take long, just a couple days. We got a little guy on the bottom there as well. And these roots are stretching out, looking for some food, so. Right now I have the solution dialed back because they were uh, fresh rooted from seed, but I'll be dialing the solution back up a little bit in the next few days and they should really start to take off. You can see the leaves are nicely grasping up towards the light. So they're very healthy. That third leaf and now the fourth leaf is coming up. That just happened in the last day or two. so. They're actually growing quite nicely. So it's been nine days now with the new aeroponic buckets. I'm just gonna check, pull up the lids and check underneath and see what kind of root systems we got going. Got a uh, cucumber on either end and this is a yellow pear tomato and these are uh, red uh, cherry tomatoes. So here we go. So here is cucumber. You can see nice roots. You can see the water droplets build up on it. You can see how they were easily had no problems getting out of that net cup and through the medium. So that's perfect. Bottom of the bucket. Wow. That's nice, I like that. Let's go over to Mr. Cherry Tomato. Oh, he's got some growing here. That's a long one. Again, bucket looks like it's working well. This guy actually got bent over on the first day during installation and he's coming along real nice. This was the cutting, so I pre-rooted this a bit just in water and then stuck it into the uh, rock wool and I'll share a video to that in the description. And the last cucumber, looking good. So the cucumbers are rooting really nicely. I'd say the two cucumbers, well, I don't know. That one, it's a bit of a different situation, but two cucumbers and then the cherry tomato. But really happy with what we got so far and uh, I'll have to start putting the trellis up soon.